happy Sunday, although when this video goes live, it'll probably be Monday or Wednesday. But it's Sunday today, so today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys to the farmer's market, to Whole Foods, and then we are going to talk about my diet. I know that I told you guys on Instagram stories, and I think in one of my live videos, that I've changed my diet up a little bit because I was having some negative side effects. We're also going to be doing a little haul. I did get some new workout clothing items from Outdoor Voices. You guys know I love them, and I've done a clothing haul with them before. Cutest workout pants you will ever wear. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get started. So yummy. So we got our pies for Thanksgiving. Gluten free because it's LA. <laughs> got and then we got our jackfruit tacos that we're just gonna eat now. You guys were telling me about this bread. It has six grams of protein. Now is that for one slice or two? One slice, yeah, that's good. We found it. This creamer's so hard to find. A pumpkin spice. That's good for Thanksgiving too. Oh, it's so good, yeah. Why it's got his butt to you guys. Hello everyone. This has been my Sunday routine. Just chill, farmer's market. We went to Whole Foods and then just enjoying nature, not putting on a lot of makeup. I just have on tinted moisturizer for the sun because you guys know I'm crazy with like SPF and all that. But just like letting my body heal and breathe. The reason why I say heal is because I just got over the flu. I did go vegan January 26th and for 10 months I was a strict vegan. Yes, I did have honey occasionally, but I was a strict vegan. No meat, no dairy, no nothing. Now I would say I'm moving more towards a plant-based diet. Really not much, much is changing because at home I do plan to still eat and stick to vegan diet, maybe not vegan lifestyle. Diet-wise, we are still eating vegan at home, but I am being a little bit more lenient with myself. When traveling especially, we just got back from Cuba and when I say there were no vegan options, there were no vegan options unless you were gonna eat lettuce all day. I obviously wasn't gonna do that, so I didn't eat meat and I tried to stay away from cheese unless it was like baked into something because cheese, when you give up cheese for a long period of time, like 10 months like I did, and then have it, not only will your stomach be really upset, but the taste is so different. Those of you that are like, I could never give up cheese, I was that person. Go watch all my old videos. I'm like piling on cheese. I'm half Italian, I'm half Turkish. Both of my family cooks with a ton of cheese and you know, eating hard cheeses when it's an appetizer, or putting Parmesan on something or mozzarella. Like we always ate cheese. So for me to say, Ugh, I don't like the taste of cheese anymore is huge. So I'm not eating cheese or anything like that. But what I mean is if I eat a pie that has eggs in it or cookies that have milk in them when I'm out and about. I'm not saying I'm buying those things in my house, but when I'm out and about, yes, I am going to be more okay with that. Of course, that's not an every single day thing. That's more of a specialty thing. What I'm changing in my diet is protein. So when I first went vegan, I was eating a lot of tofu, seitan, um, tempeh, stuff like that. What I've seen over time now being plant-based for 10 months, giving it a real shot, those foods just don't work for my system. They just don't work in my body. It's really, really hard for me to digest tofu. I get stomach cramps. And then what ends up being an issue is then I don't wanna eat those things. So what was happening is the last two months I've been falling really short with protein. And I said that in a recent video and a lot of people were saying, wow, you must be starving yourself if you're falling short on protein. But actually on a plant-based diet, it is really easy to fall short on protein if you are not eating tofu, seitan, and tempeh. So pretend I'm not not eating any of those things and now think of protein so yes there is protein in everything but if you think about it okay I have a smoothie with just fruit maybe that's two grams of protein and then I add coconut milk people are like well there's there's protein in that that's one gram of protein now I'm at three grams you know see what I'm saying it's like and then you have a salad for lunch with like all oh, really great things maybe you're now at four for me my doctor was saying women at least need 50 grams of protein which is a lot less than most people think some people think we need hundreds I was not making it to 50 grams when I was actually counting and seeing when I was on vacation I did eat tofu because they had a tofu burrito and it sounded really good and I actually like the taste of tofu now especially when it's baked or really crunchy so I'm not saying I'm giving it up 
up forever if I'm out for dinner and that's the only vegan option, yeah, I'm gonna have it. But what I'm saying is my day to day, I'm falling short on protein because I'm not eating those things because they are upsetting my stomach. Tofu is also really processed, so that's another reason why it might not be working for me. Jared can eat a ton of tofu and doesn't get any of the same symptoms I'm getting. So we are continuing to buy it. He's still eating it. I will eat tempeh, I think, once in a while because that's a little bit less pr processed and still a good amount of protein. And the plus is it doesn't bother my stomach, but I just can't eat it every single day. So maybe like once, or twice a week I'll have tempeh. My goal is to aim for 60 grams of protein and the reason why I say that even though before I said we need at least 50 is because if I aim for 60 I'm gonna fall in the 50 range. I'm kind of doing what I always say with goals. Aim for high and if you don't make that you're gonna aim somewhere close. If I aim for 50 I might fall short and be at 30 or this or that. My new diet is gonna be all about protein and also when you're caring about protein, you're usually eating healthier too. You're not eating empty calories. So before when I was falling short, you know, I was eating pita chips and guacamole. That's low in protein. Now protein shakes have a good amount of protein, but the one I buy only has 20 grams. So if that gets me to 20, that's great, but then I still need to have protein throughout the day. For anybody wondering, how did I know I was so low on protein? Well, it started with being extremely tired. After eating soy products like toast, tofu, tempeh, and seitan. When I eliminated those, it went like three weeks where I was like, I'm not eating any of those things. You don't eat as much protein as you think. I started getting really tired. So me and Jared would be talking in the car and then all of a sudden I would doze off and he'd be like, are you okay? Then I also started skipping workouts because I had no strength. I started feeling really, really weak. Also having a lower protein diet could end up being less muscle on your body. Your body does need a protein and the more muscle you have on your body, the more you can just naturally burn fat and naturally lose weight. I also love having muscle. You know, I'm proud of my leg muscles. My calves are super muscular. You guys will always say that whenever I'm doing calf workouts, you'll be like, holy shit, girl, your calves are really muscular. I worked hard for those muscles. I'm not trying to lose all that. So I am sticking to a more protein diet, being more aware of things that have protein in it and not being so obsessed. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed. I know someone's gonna take that from this video, I'm sure. But what it is, it's just being more aware because it's not like I was brought up plant-based. You know what I mean? It's not like I was brought up vegan. Let's say you eat meat like I used to and you don't care about protein, you're not watching it or anything. Usually you're getting all of your protein needs in one meal. I'm just speaking honestly. Yes, if you go vegan and you're not eating soy protein like tofu, tempeh, and seitan, you're gonna fall short. There's so many negative side effects if you start cutting out protein significantly out of your diet. First thing is hair. Your hair will not grow as fat. What I can say is that you will be extremely, extremely tired. So that's where I am now. I wanna aim to get 60 grams of protein, and it's all relative. To some people, that's gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's not a lot at all. I get 180 grams, and then to some people, that's gonna be like, holy crap, that's a lot of protein. So I think that it really is relative to your diet. So moving forward, this is kind of my game plan. <laughs> I love how I have Christmas over here and Thanksgiving behind us. So I don't know if any of this is gonna be permanent. We had all this stuff from last year, minus that candle that you guys saw in my home goods haul. Um, but yeah, I found a few other things that might work in the bedroom. I've just been so in the Christmas spirit lately, but I don't wanna forget about Thanksgiving either. So I am going to be leaving my bedroom half and half. And then on this side, we have Thanksgiving. So I still have my holiday pillows up. This is what I had for Halloween, but I feel like it also works for Thanksgiving. Now we're in my room and I thought that we could do some unboxings and a haul and a try on haul. So I just got some packages just now. Sunday packages are literally the best. So we have a big Amazon package and we also have some workout clothes. So I'm gonna try on the workout clothes first so I could show you the fit and show you the style and all that. And then we will tackle the Amazon box, which I think is some stuff for Thanksgiving. The workout clothes that I'm gonna be showing you are from the brand Outdoor Voices. I have done a clothing haul with them before and you guys loved it. And I have to say they have easily become one of my favorite workout clothing brands. I always call them my earthy brand because, because their website is so earthy. Hiking, doing activities, all the stuff that I like, like hanging out in nature, hanging out in their workout clothes, working out. It's not an intimidating, clothing company. I feel like some of these workout clothing companies are so intimidating nowadays. That's why I love working with Outdoor Voices. We are collaborating on this video together and I just really like their clothes. I like their style. But most importantly, I love the way they fit. They really are for the everyday girl, whether you are working out in your workout clothes or going on a hike or doing some sort of activity. Working out at the gym, working out at home, I feel like they have styles that work in all areas of your life. So I am going to try everything on, but I first just wanted to show you everything. So how 
how cute are these pants? I'm literally obsessed with color blocking. So they're like a navy blue up here and then they fade into a gray and then a white towards the end. I love these pants. I also have the same pair in a more pink color. I showed you guys that in my last haul. And one thing I love about color blocking is they make you look more muscular. I feel like they lift everything up. I also got this bra again because they really do hold you in. I have this in black. The other color I have is either white or a cream color, but I love this bra. And then last but not least, I got a pullover t-shirt, which is great in the morning. I usually wear my sports bra, a long sleeve on top, and then my teddy jacket over, and that's how I go to my workout classes. First, I want to talk about the top, just because a lot of you guys will reach out to me and ask what I look for in sports bras, because you know I have a fuller chest. I got boobs when I was 12 years old. I'm not gonna lie, it was actually the worst day of my life. I was like, wait, mom, I have to start wearing a bra? And in fourth grade, I had a B cup, in sixth grade, I already had almost D's. So yeah, I've had big boobs my entire life. One thing I can 100% say as far as sports bras go is ones with bigger straps like this instead of like those like skinny, cute straps, which I, I still buy those because I will wear them under t-shirts or I'll wear them to bed or just around the house. But this one is great for my ballet cardio that I do. I wouldn't necessarily like run in this bra, but then again, I also don't really run. <laughs> And these are the pants. How cute are these? Color blocking is so flattering. The other thing I want to say about the top, why I love this top, is I do feel like it lifts them up. Because sometimes if you do have bigger boobs and you wear a sports bra, you can look like a uniboob. It just looks like one giant boob. So I like ones that go straight across or give, give it a nice shape. Some bras that go straight across, they will fall out the top. You know what I mean? And they're just right there. This fits so snug. But anyways, Back to the pants. What I love about these pants is it really lifts the booty, holds in the waist. You can even wear these just out and about with a t-shirt on, which by the way, let me put this t-shirt on. I love this outfit. I'm wearing this tomorrow to my workout class. This is so cute. I'm gonna wear this on top tomorrow's outfit. And what I usually do with shirts like this is I take the end like this. Sometimes I even cut shirts like this, but I'm not gonna cut this one because this is a nice shirt. I had just a little knot, super cute, right? Easy, bam, there's your workout outfit. I feel like I would also wear it like this too, just like running around town, going to errands after my workout class. That's usually what happens, I'm done working out, and then I go grab a cup of coffee or I have to pick something up or whatever the case may be. But what's really cool is Outdoor Voices is giving my subscribers a discount again. They will give you 20% off your first order of $100 or more. Just go to outdoorvoices.com slash Sam and my promo code is also Sam. Also they do have men's stuff too so if there's a special person in your life that you want to get gifts for it is holiday season so now could be a perfect time to get a head start on some holiday shopping and all that good stuff. I will have that all down below my discount code and everything. Oh no it's not place. This is actually not what I thought it was the holiday throw blanket that I got for my bed. I had one very similar last year. That one was so big and so soft. I hope this one's as big. When we moved to our new house. I don't know what happened to it. We went through our Christmas stuff. I was literally digging up every box looking for that blanket and I could not find it. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna get another. It was that good. <laughs> actually softer and brighter. So I actually like it better and it is just as big. After getting this, I'm kind of tempted to take off the Thanksgiving pillows. But I held out this long for Thanksgiving. Just do it. <laughs> oh my god, I have issues. So that is everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog, listening to my diet. Let me know down below if you have any protein recommendations. I love you guys so much. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys soon.